Hello guys, and today I'm going to review the Rego Ninjago Camera C Power Set. The set number is 71748, and it was released on 2021's The Iron Wave of Rego Ninjago. So now, let's see the set to start. So, first of all, the set is made out of two big birds, the big chunky camera used by the Iron Keepers and another smaller one used by the ninja. Now, I don't like the Rago Ninjago Iron show very much, but I like the birds. They use the new color scheme for the birds and a new one for the ninjas too. Now, what I mainly love about this set, this set is made out, out of two boats that is not regular recent in Rago Ninjago, especially Red Boat, which is Kai's color scheme. Now, there are only two boats in Rago Ninjago that Kai uses. The other one is the Katana Bear, and this is the Cameron C Battle Set. This is one small Cameron compared to the Keeper's Cameron. But in compared to Katana, Katana Bear Set, this is quite a big bear compared to that. And the Katana bear was a more like a submarine that travels underwater, but this is mainly a speedboat that travels under or upper water. So now let's see the sets. First of all, we have Kai's camera, which is and does not have any big features in the set, no more shooters. And then uses a big sail, right? This orange and red color scheme and the emblem colors draper on here. This is a one smooth bird with the tire pieces. And there's this yellow bar piece right here, not gold. And on the back, it has this some kind of propellers. I think this repairs the water, so this speeder can speed across the water. It has just only one seat, which is odd compared to the show. Now the only feature the, is this set have is this. You just move this piece right here, technic technic pieces, and just push it. So this feature makes the camera twice as bigger as the regular regular one, like border right here. It's very easy to push down this rubber. It does not stuck or anything. Just push it down here and becomes twice as big as before. Now, if you want to remove the sail, just pull out this piece and you can prove it like this. This bird has a whole lot of stickers. Stickers right here and these are our stickers. There are no printed pieces right here. Now, let's move on to the Baron's boat. Now here we have the main build of the set, the Keeper's Camera. Now this is a one big camera. And this bird has some unique features. Now first of all, this bird has some giant sail that resembles some kind of sea creature or iron creature, I don't know. You can move the sail sideways or upward downward with this tiny technique pieces. And here you have some shooters with this thicker printed creature pieces again. Now in this angle, same as the other side shooters, and these are our sticker printed pieces. Now 
Now here we have a small bird that can detach from the main bird itself. It's a small boat and there are some seats right here. You can put a random bear and minifigure right on here to sit. And there is some kind of bone cage there. So this is some kind of boat prison for any of the random figures you have. Just put this any figure you rack in here and just put the rib cages down right there. Put the uh figure racks right here. And then you're done. And this can be rolled in this angle. I mainly rub these positions because it makes you more of a stunt boat. Like roll it in this angle with these carved pieces. Roll it like this. Purple writing pieces right here. You can move these tear pieces too. Now let's just put this back. You can easily detach from these tiny pieces. Now from the other side, it has the small boats too. It can also detach. Now it has this normal touch shooters, and same as the other one, tear pieces. Now the only difference is this little storage room which stores these wooden boxes. Now if you open them there is some kind of purple crystal or purple gems right here inside. And same as the other one. So there are two purple gems in each I'll roll down the camera. Let's put this right back. It each contains one purple crystals. Just put this right over. And you can put this in the storage room. There is a seat for one of the keepers. This bang kind of braids talk to each side. Now, if you look at the set, you may wonder, what happens if two of these boats each detaches? So I just detach two of the boats. And you have two boats in each side. And what happens to this big bird? So just flip the wings right, right here. And it becomes a more completed bird without the boats. There is this penny purple writing right here. Yes, it does look pretty good. Now, there is just one picture wrapped to show you guys. Just remove the sail so you guys will see better. And we have this little rudder pieces. And you may wonder, why are these banks poor? They look like some kind of creature's taste. So, if you look at this right here, it's movable. If you move this piece right out front, the bank shoots out. Like You don't have to pull it very hard, just push it. Now, this is the attack mode. It looks quite cool. Now, there's the seat which was hidden by the sail, which I think Chief Mamata sits right, right here. Or the other keeper sit in the other boat. Yes, not much to see now. Okay, now let's move on to the minifigures.
Okay, let's see the ninjas mini figure first. First, we have Iron J, Iron Jane, and Iron Kai, which which with some different accessories, nunchucks, arrows, and katanas. Each with its own hairpiece, armors, and new hairpieces. It's a pity that Jane's armor was not included. The bigger detailings are pretty good. It's one of the most detailed Dragon and Drago mini figures. I just removed the weapons so you guys can see it better. Okay, here we have the weapons removed. Their base are the same as usual, and they have their half masks. I'll turn them over. There's the back prints, most hidden in the armors. Yes, uh, they have very detailed back prints too. Not having Jane's armor was a pity, as I said. They look pretty good on the back too. And now let's see the Baron's minifigures or the Iron Keepers. First we have Rumber Keepers, Under Keeper, and Shima Mattis. And just turn my memory red. Or just move the camera to the bottom. Okay, there are the weapons. This running piece is some kind of zapping spears. And this shield with that creature again. Uh, a size and some kind of wrong writing tap. Okay, let's remove the accessories. Okay, here we have our accessories removed. Rumber Keeper, Sunder Keeper, and Chimma Mattis. And just turn memory. Now, let's see their base prints. It has this some kind of writing, japping, and a grinning or a bit of a grumpy base. Back prints are pretty cool, no alternative faces. Next, we're, we're look at the Thunder Keeper. It has this some kind of base mask for covering its face. The torso prints, the back prints, back prints are all the same. Remove this, even the head is the same. Almost the same. It has the spanks, but this is more like a white and this is more of a purple. Back prints are the same, white instead. And this this mask is quite pretty cool. It's one of the best mini figure accessories in Dragon and Drago. Had had you put it like this. And it covers them in a bigger space. Now let's look at the main Baron, Chip Mamadis. Now the Chip has Golden Prince, except the other keepers have more of a purple and more of a brown prince. He has more gold prints. He has this red cape. And uh, he has this golden prince on the back, his golden hat. This hat is looks so amazing. It has these two white bangs, you, which you have to push it down. The golden hat is hat itself is amazing, with this some kind of keeper symbol and this tear cover. I never seen a hat like this before. Just remove this and reverse the base. It's scored. And it has an alternative base. So this is different from the other keepers because he is cheap. Okay. He looks quite good with his writing striking stamp. So now we have looked at all the minifigures. So now let's look at the Storm Emirate. First of all, this is purple colored with the golden Wajira or uh, some kind of dragon symbol. Same as on the back. It has this tiny horse 
and this gripping piece so any of the minifigures can grip it. Yes, this definitely a cool piece with this purple and gold. Reminds me of Rego Atlantis's Mandarians. Anyway, it's a cool piece. So, we have looked at minifigures, spirits, and accessories. So, what is the time for now? Video over? No. So, I'll show you guys this pair of parts. First off, we have this pair of rasters and technic pieces and this some kind of screwdriver piece. Have masks, blue and red, white, bangs and wrapped over katanas. More technic pieces, braids, purple crystal, one more and golden bar piece. Um, nothing much. But I didn't expect this proper crystal to be here. So if you like this video, please subscribe. And please remember to check out my other Lego videos. There are a lot of them. And goodbye.